friends, denizens of the internet, hello and welcome back to the next exciting episode of West of Loathing. Now we left left off, when we laughed left off, when we last left off, we were about to take down, oh, what's the name of this person? Uh, it's a black, what are we looking at? Uh, Santa Cortada, yep, uh, broke into a bunch of pieces and just kicked the crap out of me. I haven't uh, done any grinding or leveling up yet, but I did look around in the inventory and I did have some better weaponry and gear. As you can see, I'm wearing a cool miner hat and we're now using the thigh of St. Beavis as a weapon. So let's see if we can do this. If we can't pull this off, we will, uh, I'll be back once I figure out how to, um, how to actually beat it. Okay. Yes. Oh. Oh, did I? Uh, okay. Not sure what was supposed to happen there. Hmm. Yeah, we'll hit him with the whole one, two, three. Yeah, be gone. Pete, crazy Pete, hit him with a lantern. Yes. Yep. Oh, this does not that good job. All right, Pete. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can not die here, Pete. That'd be great. I think, I think we're gonna pull it off. I think Pete's gonna die, but I think we're gonna pull it off. Pete, give me a pep talk before you die. Thanks, Pete. Don't die, Pete. Oh, come on, Pete. Yeah, there you go. You're not dead. You don't suck. All right. Well, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't think he was gonna do, do it twice there. I, that, that was my bad. Sorry, Pete. You're dead now. My bad. I think, yeah. See, I think the hat, because the, uh, the minor hat that I have actually gave me, like, three armor, and I was like, well, that doesn't sound like much. But clearly, uh, it's pretty serious. It's some serious stuff, that three points of armor. <laughs> Alright, so we're doing this pretty handily. This shouldn't be a problem now. Yo, I was worried. I don't recall, I didn't recall having to, like, grind at all when I played through this game originally. Yes. Come on, Santa Cortada, you bag of mishmash bones. Only one left now. Be gone! Back to the depths from whence you came. All right. What we got? Santa Cortada's skull. The skull has been a real on-again, off-again relationship with the rest of Santa Cortada's skeleton. Okay. This ring, this ring makes you feel like you can be in multiple places at once. Okay. Cool. That's that's it in here. All right. Fair enough. Wait, I can jump? Oh my god, I didn't know I could jump. Wow, that's... I'm blown away. Alright, what do we got here? Here lies Saint Pope. He was excommunicated for impersonating a Pope, but there was some kind of bureaucratic issue, so they weren't uh, they weren't able to unbeatify him. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know what that, uh, I don't know what that word means. I am a Pope. Seriously, okay. Saint Pope stands Beautifully. Oh, I, I do not know what that word is. Behind the dais. He just keeps doing his Pope gestures, ignoring you. How can someone look so smug without even having a face? The longer you watch him, the more he gets on your nerves. Insult him! You unleash a torn of insults that would make a sailor blush, and a sailor's mother ashamed of a sailor. St. <laughs> Pope's eyes narrow. Looks like you finally managed to make him mad enough to fight you. Fight him then! Oh, jeez. Alright, um, you know, give him the old one, two, three. Yeah, hit, hit, hit. Oh, and you are out of here. Wow. What we get? We got Moxie level five. Pope's pelvis that has never been used. Hilarious. Fake Pope hat. The audacity. Two armor, two Moxie. Alright, cool. I don't think we need that right now because we're doing the three armor. And we don't need Moxie. But, okay, well, that was it for that. Oh, I think that means we're... Wait, I think that means we're done with this now, right? Yeah, because we were just supposed to down, come down here and beat the crap out of these three people. Okay, yep, it's just, we did that already. We just came down here to get the relics, right? Which were the pieces of the... Yep, ha ha! Yeah, there we go. Recovered all the relics. Oh, praise be. Thank you. Glad to have helped, sister. 
I must reward you for your efforts, though. We don't have much, but you might find these pants handy. One of our old priests left them behind. Got an item, kneeling pants. The knees of these pants have been reinforced with leather patches, which is handy for both praying and brawling. Okay. To be fair, I think I'm going to throw those on, because my bean-stained pants, yeah, spell damage, I don't need that. Give me the kneeling pants. All right. Okay, so, yeah, that's it for this place. Let's get on out of here. Oh, yeah, we don't actually need to leave. I keep forgetting that. So, let's see. Was I actually supposed to do something? Hmm, I don't think so. I think we're good. I think we're, uh, I think we're wandering here. Someone left a bunch... Uh, someone's left a bundle of dynamite on the ground. You approach it cautiously, verifying that it's neither wired to a detonator nor connected to an actively sparking fuse. What an odd and dangerous thing for someone to leave lying around. Yeah, ooh, more dynamite, all right. Let's wander a little more. You spy a burned out ranch house on the horizon and pull Tim up to investigate. There's nothing much of interest above ground, but you find a locked door leading down to a presumably still intact root cellar. Oh, lock picking and a needle, yeah, pick that lock. Once inside, you're not sure why they even bothered locking it. It's been picked clean of everything but a tiny amount of food and even tinier amount of medicine. We have Vienna blood sausages, gross. Clove drops, a plum pudding, ooh, plum pudding, smelling salts, and blood building tonic. Okay. Well, that's weird, but you know, a stash is a stash is a stash. Oh, another bundle of dynamite. Yes, give me that. I will take that. Wander again. You encounter a bandit who doesn't look very bandit like, do we? Due to the lab coat and his slide rule holster. Fortunately, she's also wearing the standard black bandit hat, otherwise, you might not have been able to tell. Alright, Buster, this is a stick up. Hand over to me. You don't seem to have a gun. How about I just punch you out and leave instead? Ha! like to see you try, because I've invented an anti-punching ring, and that would help me test it. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, punch her really hard. Well, okay, I mean, punching things is kind of my whole shtick, actually. Really? Great, go ahead and give me a good one. You wind up and launch your best haymaker. You do, in fact, feel some resistance as your fist nears her head, but you power through it and knock her sprawling. <laughs> Ow, dang, jeez. Okay, looks like it's back to the trying board. Help her up. It can keep the stupid defective thing. She dusts herself off, tosses you the ring, and slouches away, rubbing her job. Oh, hey, it looks like she dropped her wallet, which she fell down to. You got an item, Ring of Moderate Unpunchability. <laughs> this ring has a weak enchantment on it that renders its wearer nominally less punchable than usual. <laughs> Score. Oh, wow. All right. A nearby cloud of dust turns out to be abandoned on a horse, riding hell for leather for unknown reasons. Well, I know them, but you don't. Oh, thanks, narrator. You pull your horse up alongside hers and match your speed. Hey, what's up? Where's the fire? Get bent and or lost. Wow, I didn't get neither. I like that. I'm, I'm going to accuse her of robbery. I accuse you of crimes. Hand over your ill-gotten gains. Why you? She whips out a pistol and points it at you, and you pluck it out of her hand. Thanks, that'll do fine. <laughs> You pull on your reins, stopping your horse. The bandit, nonplussed, continues to ride away. <laughs> I just like smash and grab their pistol. Oh, wow. Bandits get caught in a vicious circle where they use guns to rob people to get money to buy better guns to rob better people and get more money for more guns. <laughs> Is that... You know, I just watched RoboCop last night. Is that the circular logic from the bad guys in the beginning of RoboCop? I think it is. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Um, We were supposed to... Because I was going to hold off on killing the goblins, but I feel like that's uh, that's useless to, at this point. You spot the smoldering ruin of a ranch on the horizon. Ominous. Discover new map location, the Steerns Ranch. Yeah, let's go there now. We aren't doing anything important. All right. Sweet. Haystack, big fruit, needle, thank you. Another needle, thank you. Hey, Crazy Pete, what do you got to say about this? Holy! I ain't no expert, but this looks like a cow attack for sure. Watch a skip, boss. Right. Thanks, Crazy Pete. You are always a beacon of hope and information in these troubling times. Hey, Stack, give me a needle. Anything here of any importance? Button cactus. Yep. Jethro Steeren's devoted father. Looks like Jethro's bones were dug up by some varmint or another. Search up. 
and a charred locket amongst the blackened bones. Got an item. Charred locket. Should call it a locket on account of how lucky it was to escape that fire. Wow, okay. That's, that's something else. Alright, so we don't need this. We need... Hmm. You know, let's take some more armor. And I think that's all we have to... Oh, wait. Five to seven. Nope, we're good. We're good. Alright. Ooh, flower is smoking. What? Got an item. Smoking chrysanthemum. This flower apparently still has a lot of smoldering to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Between the smoke and the noise, you're guessing that the contents of this outhouse are more dangerous than the average outhouse contents. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Open the door. Ah, it's a flaming cow head. Mm, lovely. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to attack you. Yes, there you go. You are dead, sir. By the soft light of the fading embers, you see a glint of light from below. You hold your nose with one hand as you fish out your prize with the other. Oh, toilet pistol. <laughs> This pistol is pretty comprehensively toileted up. Deals stench damage instead of physical applies five poison damage. Yeah. I mean we're not we're not the the, the gun class, so it's Ooh, full canteen. A very old water in a very old canteen. Drinking it would probably give you tetanus, which was discovered very recently. What? <laughs> Puts out fire, so it doesn't actually do anything like health-wise. Uh ranch dressing. Wait, is that like a band-aid? What? Oh, game. You so crazy. Lockbox. It's locked. Give me it. Pick the lock and open the box. Ooh, a document. Oh, I got a stock certificate. This is a certificate entitling the bearer to 11 shares of Standard Beer Incorporated, a company based in Chicago. Just sell it. Okay. <laughs> Still some beans in this pot. Grab them. You upend the pot into your pack. <laughs> you got an item black and beans. This is a plate of beans that got left in a fire for weeks. They're still edible, but you could probably also use them as stove fuel in a pinch. <laughs> oh man, that's good. That's good. The toy box contains a single object, a creepy burnt porcelain doll. Talk to it. It's the work of a moment to fix the doll's voice box. You pull the string. The doll's eyes roll back into its head and its mouth begins to move. Hi, I'm Grace. What's your name? I'm Harry. Hi, Harry. You're nice. Do you want to play with me? Yeah, sure. Hooray! Mary used to play with me, but we didn't get to finish our tea party before she went away. Will you help me finish it? Surely. Hooray! The game is almost over. Mary did such a good job. The doll's eyes roll back forward. Go downstairs and get my cup. You know the magic word to make the mean cow let you into a secret room? <laughs> I don't understand any of that sentence. All right. No, what is it? magic word is peanut butter. The doll goes silent. Got it. Peanut butter. You shudder as you realize that talking dolls haven't been invented yet. That's spooky. <laughs> okay, that's strange. All the books on this shelf are burned, but you notice something strange about the back of the shelf. Investigate. Your deft fingers find a hidden catch, and the back panel of the shelf slides away to reveal a secret compartment. There's a book inside. Mary Stern's Diary. Little girl's diary brined a little around the ridges, but otherwise untouched by the fire. Can I read that? Yeah. The first page says, in a little girl's handwriting, This is the diary of Mary Stearns. The AI and diary are crossed out, and IA written above them. The diary starts out as typical kid stuff. You flip ahead until you notice the writing getting shakier. Found a doll under a cactus out back, and she told me her name was Grace. Mama and Papa don't believe me that she talks. This hag got a big imagination. Grace says the cows are gonna get us, but Papa says we'll be okay, cause this weren't never a cow ranch. Grace says he's wrong, but Papa won't believe me. Grace says she's gonna keep the cows away, but I have to play tea party with her. Oh. It's getting mildly sinister now. I don't like this kind of tea party, but Grace says it's important to keep the cows away. Mama was sad they couldn't find Effie. Papa said she's been gone so long as they should put up a cross, but Mama won't let him because she thinks she'll come back. Papa said she's only 11, how far could she have gone? And Mama started crying again. Don't want to play tea party anymore, but Grace says I asked you. Yeah, F sinister. Papa was out two days looking for Joey. Of course, he didn't find him. Mama cries so much. I tried to tell her him and Effie are helping keep the cows away. She didn't understand. I told Grace I'm not playing tea party again. But she says I got to, and if I don't, cows lead all three of us. She said either I get Mama or Papa to play, 
or else I gotta play by myself. That's the last entry. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. That doesn't sound like good news. Um, ooh, what is this? Yeah, I don't have save cracking, I'm sorry. Build a crate. Why would I, why would I do that? You know, we're gonna do that, why not? It's a crate, open it. What? There was some, wait, wait, wait. So I took a pile of wood and built a crate and then there was something in the crate, okay. All right, we got an item lasso. This rope has already been tied into a lasso for your convenience, which is lucky because you have no idea how to tie a lasso. Nice. And got depressed rancher candy. Like all things for ranchers, this candy was a lot better before the cows came home. Nice. Buff candy. All right. Some food on the shelf. Grab it. Sa Sasparilaria. I was going to say, I almost said sarsaparilla, but that is not what that says. That is... Sasparparalia. Paralaria. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Peanut butter. Atop this sinister looking altar sits a copper goblet filled with what appears to be blood. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and destroy that. You don't know what this is, but you know it's abominable. You grab the goblet and smash it against the altar. And where the blood lands, cracks appear. The altar groans as it crumbles into ruin. Ooh, I got tough customer level four. Ooh, and how? All right, well, <laughs> there goes that. Sweet. What do, you, what do you think about this room, Crazy Pete? What in the same hell is that cow face of painted on the wall over there? I was hoping you could tell me. I never seen its light. It gives me the willy something fierce, I can tell you that. Yeah. No kidding. Thanks, Crazy Pete. Once again, you are a beacon in an otherwise dark and dingy world. Let's go see what the doll thinks of us breaking it. Grace's eyes glow red. She must know what you did. You'll live to regret this. Hee <laughs> hee. Her mouth snaps shut and her eyelids closed. Well, that's only a little bit ominous. Okay, that's it then. All right, well, let's go on and get. Nothing else going on here. Um, uh, hmm. Where are we going? Oh, Fort Coward is to kill a whole bunch of goblins. As you turn a corner, you come face to face with three bandits pushing a large barrel of marked TNT down the trail. The four of you stare at each other for a moment, unsure of how to deal with this potentially violent happenstance. Buy for cover and fight them, surrender or charge them a toll. There we go. Now hold on there, fellas. You know there's a barrel toll on this road, right? A what now? Barrel toll. 100 meat to roll a barrel through here. Oh, yeah, and what do you plan to do if we refuse to pay your stinking toll? Draw your pistol. <laughs> well, I'd have to shoot that barrel full of explosives that the three of you are standing right next to. The bandits look at your pistol, then at the barrel, and then at each other, and then at you. You give them your best crazy-eyed grin. They pull out their wallets. <laughs> you gain 70 me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I mean, what choice do they have? Die or give me money. It's it's it was pretty straightforward. All right, goblins. Wait, this is the goblin place, right? Is it? Have I lost my mind? I might have lost my mind. I sure I saw that safe, but I don't have safe cracking. Yeah. Because this is ring this triangle will probably rile up a goblin or two. Oh no, we're just fighting goblins for fun. Oh no, that is it. Huh. You know what, let's ring the bell. Well, let's see, you know we're here, let's just ring the bell. Oh, we got a chef goblin, all right. Boom, get one shotted. You won the fight, go you. Well, oh, thank you very much. Oh, I got a goblin hat, what? All right, I thought that was gonna be something else. It, it weren't nothing. Let's get out of here. Let's, uh, hmm. Now let's just go for a walk up to the destroyed campsite. Oh, wow, we actually went there. Um, to crap. Let's just wander. You ran a corner in a box canyon and you find yourself face to face with a pyro bow. What? <laughs> You're boxed in. I'm gonna attack it. Oh, that's what it meant. That's why, as soon as I read it, I was like, pyro bow? Like, fire cow? But yes, that is exactly what he was talking about. Oh, crazy pea guy, inferno breath. Wow, sorry about that, crazy pea. Where's the cow tongue, cow fangs? Only thousands left to go. Yeah, you're not wrong. All right, let's wander some more. 
wave of heat hits you from behind. You turn around to see a Hellcat pawing the ground and eyeing you with an ill intent in its dead black demonic eyes. Let's kill it! Die, Hellcat! Die! Reassure me, Pete. Yeah, you couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. Ha <laughs> ha! You're dead. Roast a cow tongue, you skin the cow. Ooh, yeah. Hmm. Well, I mean... That's weird. I mean, maybe we should just go see if we can get the, um... The dynamite. Alright, dynamite Dan. What sayest thou? Do a little jump for joy there. Your supply of dynamite's 4,500 meat. I don't... I don't have 4,500 meat. <laughs> or anything even worth close to that. <laughs> Just look at yep, nope. I mean we could sell this stock certificate. Don't need we don't need some of this stuff. But all of it? Nah, we need some of it. Yeah, sell it. Pull two? Oh, okay. No, I'm just trying to see what kind of stuff I have that's just selling stuff as it were. Hmm. Nope, I guess we're all good here, and we definitely don't have enough for the year's supply of meat. Hmm. All right, well, let's, let's mosey on. <laughs> Where are we now? Take a trip down to Stearns. Nope, nothing. Okay. We're just gonna wander around until we get somewhere. Find a wrecked bank stagecoach with a strong box in the back. It's too heavy to carry, but too locked to open. Let's open it up. You pop the lock open and find a ton of meat inside. And since the serial numbers aren't sequential, the bank probably won't be able to trace it if you keep yourself with the serial numbers on the meat? Okay, nice. <laughs> We're just going random places now. There we go. You spot a cemetery on the horizon. The lettering over the gate says the Dave Yard, which seems oddly specific. You discovered a new map location, the Dave Yard. Okay, um, let's go there now. The Dave Yard. Look at this place. Here lies Dave B, 1834 to 1884. Died with his boots on, but not his pants. What? You dig up the grave just to check the veracity of the epitaph. Sure enough, boots, but no pants. Well, I got boots, all right. Oh, wait, I, I honestly, I think that's my first pair of boots. Yeah, I got I got Dave's boots. Good, good, good times. Nah, I don't want to fight the skeletons. Dave C went down on a theater. Okay. Dave J. Rap pa pa pow. I don't. Okay. I don't know what that's all about. Restless bones. Dave L. Died of a heart attack. So you win minus 36 years. Okay. Dave G. He was looking to the sky to save him. But even the sky can't save a feller from like 40 angry bears. Wow. <laughs> Grave digger left his lunchbox. Oh boy, free lunch. Blood sausages and a thermos of spiked coffee. When you work deep underground, it's hard to keep track of whether it's the appropriate time to drink whiskey or the appropriate time to drink coffee. Eventually, you just stop trying. <laughs> uh, that's funny. All right. What we got in here? All kinds of stuff, apparently. Oh, this is one of those things they have in mausoleums. You know, one of those big marble things with drawers full of skeletons. Isn't that just a mausoleum? Is there a specific term for that? Um, yeah, let's just open one. Beat the crap out of a skeleton. Die. <laughs> okay, we're just pulling corpses out of the wall and beating the crap out of them. Lovely. What's in here? Ugh. Some kind of virtual circle drawn on the ground in red shock. A pile of mostly burned rags that may maybe used to be a person? Investigate. Think through the rags and find a few things that look like they're worth keeping. Gore splattered scroll. Item human ashes. And robe receipt. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the human ashes, I guess. I don't... Well, that's 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 all that was in here. Wait, I can't open this. Okay. All right. yeah, that was it. That's let's get up on out of here. Unless there's more this way. Dave D, the truth is out there. It killed him. Dave G, murdered by a different feller named Dave G. Hilarious. It's mostly just boring, broken bones, but you do find a skull with a weird tag on it. Skull with an odd tag on it. Well, thanks. Jeez. This skull has a little paper tag tied to it, which has inter-cemetery loan on one side and some notes on the other. 
Can I do something with that? The tag on this call is a serial number and says it was borrowed from the submission catacombs on February 19th, 1886. Gee, this thing is really late. Skulls, check them out. Okay. Oh, actually, considering that's the end of the, uh, the cemetery here, that actually goes back, if I'm thinking about this correctly, that actually goes back in the old mission. Off the side of the trail, you notice one of those weird cacti shaped like coffee cups. Yeah, I can't do nothing with that. I do not have origin. Yeah, that... Because there was the, the sockets in the wall that had missing slots. No? There we go. Was... Okay, yeah, that didn't change anything. Well, good for me, I guess. <laughs> Alright, let's do a little more wandering. A wave of heat hits you from behind. You turn around to see a hell calf pawing the ground and eyeing you with ill intent. It's dead black. Demonic eye. Die, hell cow, die! Get him! Wow. Crazy Pete, you did one damage. There we go. First Captain is for thick leather. Hmm. Because we still got places to... Nope. We still got places to find, I'm almost positive. An abandoned campsite, an old crate catches your eye. On closer inspection, you find it's nailed shut. Maybe the campers used it to sit on and forgot to take it with them? Their loss is your gain if you have a crowbar to pry it open with. Yes, I do. What we get? Open that walnut. Nice. Nut meats. Ooh, bar of soap. Depressed rancher candy. Blood building tonic. We got all kinds of buff stuff there. That's cool. Not really what we were uh, looking for, but yeah, let's... Uh, Let's just go back and forth here. We'll we'll drum up some situations. I, I don't know. <laughs> you hear a groaning noise a short distance away and investigate. Cowpoke is sitting against a rock with his leg bent in a way that seems incorrect. What happened? Dang horse threw a rod and I fell off. I think I busted one of my dancing arms. <laughs> give him a ride back to dirt water. You help the guy onto the back of your horse, give him a lift back to town. Thanking you kindly, stranger. I'd say I owe you one, but it seems doubtful we'll ever meet again. No problem. And honestly, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. You crest the hill to see a skeleton propped up on its elbows, looking through a pair of binoculars at the horizon. I guess he died before whatever he was waiting for showed up. Aw, oh, yeah, dis wait, disposable binoculars? Want to look at more than one thing through them? Too bad. <laughs> That's funny. All right, well, that, jeez. All right, so that said, I can find a new location if I go to a vantage point. Hmm, vantage point, you say? I don't, not really sure what that would entitle. Can I, no, 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 can I do that now? Oh, no, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I do not know. Thanks, Brent. The sound of gunfire draws your attention, cautiously, to where you find a goblin shooting a large pistol at some boulders. The sound of gunfire and pinging ricochets filling the area, the goblin doesn't hear you approach. I'm gonna try and communicate with it. Hey, hello? Goblin spins around, startled and surprised. Luke Hunt! Alala! True Garf Alello! Ilalo! Please don't point that at me. Plo Blurk! Lord Hort Plo Yurt! Bra Gurk! Yeah, I'm gonna kill him. Because <laughs> I don't... I think he was insinuating something about my, uh... No, I, I don't know. <laughs> but clearly, talking to him had no effect. So we we will simply kill him. Eat the Goblin Cracker Jack and take all the toy surprises inside. Cracker Jack hat? This shallow hat once belonged to a skilled Goblin Marksman, but not such a skilled one that it doesn't now belong to you. <laughs> nice. Ah, uh, alright, so I can't just use the disposable binoculars. Alright, so, as usual, I think that's all the time I have for this episode today. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and get subscribed. I am Devote Lost Time Gaming, this is West of Loathing, and this is Stole Blast, I'm still enjoying it. We got a lot going on today, but I think, uh, before the start of next episode, I'll either find out a new location, or I'll find out how we're supposed to progress, and then we'll start like that, so that way we're not just wandering around. As much fun as wandering around can be, obviously, but that being said, thanks again for watching, and if you enjoyed, I hope you keep watching. So, as usual, I'll catch you all on the flip side.